the availability of affordable high-power blue diode lasers as pump light sources permits the use of other DSSL crystals than the classical neodymium YAG for educational laser applications. An advantage of praseodymium as laser crystal dopant is that both the pump light and many of the possible laser emissions are in the visible range, which eases laser alignment and students' apprehension of the laser process. Different laser wavelength emission are accessible. In this video, wavelength selection is done by use of resonator mirrors with selective reflectivity. The laser runs at 638 nm red and 520 nm green. The blue pump laser head is mounted first. The diode laser injection current is set just above the lasing threshold. The controller also allows to set laser temperature and modulation frequency. The pump light gets collimated and adjusted by precisely positioning the 4mm focal length collimator lens. A flat mirror, which is transparent for the blue pump light and for green, but very high reflective for red light, is chosen as left laser cavity mirror. The mirror is perpendicular to the beam if it reflects the light back into the diode laser, which then reacts with an observable increase in intensity. The second lens focuses the parallelized pump light just behind the flat mirror. Where the PR wireless laser crystal gets mounted. Yttrium lithium fluoride, YLIF4 or YLF, is birefringent, so the pump light absorption is polarization dependent, while the diode laser is polarized, so by rotating the crystal, pump light absorption can be optimized. The right cavity mirror is curved with 100 mm radius and mounted a little less than 100 mm from the flat mirror to form a hemispherical cavity. When the cavity is complete, and the yellow filter for the pump light inserted, it is safe to increase the pump power. In the dark, the fluorescent light from the cavity can be used to align the curved mirror. Bringing the crystal facet perpendicular to the beam drastically improves laser intensity and is checked by the absence of light spots in the cavity to the side of the beam. While the 638 nm light experiences large amplification, to make the laser oscillate in the green 520 nm light, cavity and crystal position have to be thoroughly optimized and the beam walk to the center of the mirror. 
The glare from the laser light scattered inside the crystal can be used as a guideline for good alignment. Beamwalking is done by tilting the flat mirror and realigning crystal and curved mirror. All alignments have to be iterated for best outcome. Do also optimize the illumination of the laser crystal with pump light, moving the focusing lens. Before changing something in the cavity, be sure to turn off high power pump light for laser safety. Move the focusing lens to the left so the flat mirror can be exchanged. Protect the delicate mirrors with a cap. The mirrors that are highly reflective for red light are exchanged with mirrors transparent for red and highly reflective for green light. When the lens is moved to the position where it was before, the laser starts up green. If not, the right curved mirror can be scanned until green flashes can be seen inside the cavity.